Hey guys, and welcome back for another Cinema 4D tutorial. Today I'm just going to be going over some um, basic things for the plane, uh, <clears throat> the plane effector, and just it's kind of useless uses. You can um, do some pretty neat little animations, kind of like this one here. And um, there's lots of uses for it, but um, I'll just show you some basics of it and uh, pretty much how it works and how to set up different kind of scenes. So I'll go ahead and I'll delete all that. So I'm just going to throw a sphere object in. I was just using the icosahedron one. I find that the triangle polygons look better when when they're disappearing and stuff. So the first step for using a plane effector is you can't apply an effector directly to a sphere or an object. So that's where the poly effects comes in. So that's pretty much just lets us apply effectors. As you can see here, now we can apply effectors into the poly effects to apply to the sphere. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to right click these two and I'm going to put them in a null object by grouping them. And now when I highlight the poly effects, I'm going to go into MoGraph, Effectors, and Plane Effector. So as soon as you click on Plane Effector, you're going to notice your sphere kind of destroys itself. And that's just because under the Parameters tab here, the Y is set to 100. So if I go and hit that to 0, it comes back to normal. So this, these are pretty much the, the transform options that the Plane Effector gives you. So you have your position, your X, your Y, and your Z, which is your, your standard. <clears throat> You have scale, you can scale it up or down, and you have rotation. Now these are going to affect every and each one, each polygon, not the whole object as a whole. So if I go ahead and check on uniform scale and hit this to minus one, you're going to notice right away it disappears. And where did it go? So to make some nice animations with this plane effector, we're going to have to change the fall off of the defector. So the, uh, how can I explain this? Kind of the transition between what it, what the object actually is and what the plane effector is applying. So if I come to fall off and go to the shape, I like the linear one the best. There's many different shapes. There's a, a capsule one. There's a sphere one, which is the same as, as what we have, but I like the linear one. So pretty much what, what it does is <clears throat> this first yellow side is where the transforming begins, and it's hard to see, but this red square in the middle, that's where the transforming kind of ends. So I'll show you what I mean here. As I drag this through, as soon as that yellow one hits, it starts to shrink because we have our scale to minus one. So if it goes to minus one, this should theoretically disappear. So by the time this red square passes to these polygons, they should be nothing. So if I continue to drag it, and boom, right there where the red hits it, they're disappearing completely. So you can make your sphere disappear in nice little polygons, which is a nice little animation. Uh, you can also set some of these other little parameters like rotation. So if I just throw some random numbers in here, you'll notice now they'll rotate and scale down at the same time. And you can add some position as well if you want. So now they'll kind of explode outwards, rotate, and disappear as they fly away. So those are just some of the nice little options that you can go and um, put on your your object. Um, <clears throat> you can set the deformer to different little options. Um, I haven't touched this too much, so I'm going to leave that <clears throat> for now, but I know you can set it to like the full object. Um, so the normal, you can set it to the point of the object, so it's happening, so it's deforming each and every point. It doesn't really change in this scenario, so we'll just leave it for now. But in your Fall Us tab, like I was saying, there's there's a bunch of other ones. There's this Noise tab, which kind of makes it fluctuate in some some crazy little way. Um, you can set the seed and the global scale and stuff to be bigger and smaller and 
so it doesn't move as much. Uh, oops, 100. Make it dance around a little bit. But like I was saying, I like the linear one personally best. But yeah, so there's not too much else with the plane deformer. Um, <clears throat> just some basic little transform um, things that you can do to different objects. You can do it to the landscapes, you can do it to platonics, you can do it to toruses, capsules. You just use the same methods and you can get this effect. Alright guys, it was just another short little tutorial for you guys today. If you liked the video, hit that like button and um, if you like the content we've been putting out, just go ahead and subscribe and there will be tons more where that came from. I'll see you guys next time.